Tony from CassetteComeback.com So a few weeks ago I spotted a post on Tapeheads.net where someone was saying that there was a factory in Wales that was producing new tape pancake and having a look at the links that were posted found this company and they said that they've been making pigments they have over 70 years experience between them and they have a company that's been going for 20 years and indeed they have a new tape that's going to be loaded and it's going to be out soon so everyone was happy new tape british nice shortly afterwards someone posted a link to tape line and i think you all knew tape line is who said they were loading samples of this tape into shells so naturally i had to get some now if you look here at this little picture this is what came in the box saying that these are test samples and uh, they'd like some feedback so hopefully this is feedback for you but what is this tape well this is the sound waves tape a brand new type one from a company in wales now straight away this looks familiar doesn't it, it certainly does it looks like one of these an rtm fox well i guess it looks the same because they're using the same shells which come from color box in italy but if we actually look at the tapes side by side we can see that the tape pack on the rtm fox and one of the things that always impressed me about this is it's nice and smooth whereas the tape back pack i should say on the sound waves isn't quite so smooth and indeed if we look at the actual tapes itself side by side you can see that the sound waves is slightly darker than the recording the masters fox but that's just how they look on the surface i'm going to use this as a comparison simply because out of the two other new tape formulations that's come out this is by far the best one so i'm going to use this as a comparison but let's see how the sound wave does since i used a dragon in the last new tape test i did figure i should do the same again so we're first going to have a listen to the rtm fox use this of the control tape because that currently as far as i'm concerned is the best of the brand new tapes that are out at the moment deck's already biased up for it so i'm going to use a tune called synergy which i found on the youtube royalty free library and i really like this tune very catchy great bass line lots of treble so let's have a see how the fox handles it the source. And back to the tape. Okay, we'll stop it there. That's the uh, RTM Fox. And I've got to say, the more I've been using these, the more I like them. This is a very, very decent tape. I like this one a lot. So let's see how this compares with the sound waves which has the same shell but not the same tape so i'm gonna to have to calibrate this up now for the sound waves so there's going to be some test tones so if you are listening through headphones or you've got it on loud time to turn it down now okay right let's just uh, fold that on a bit and then let's calibrate it
Okay, level. Okay, we can see it's down from the fox, but not much. We'll be about 5 dB down. Okay, let's set the bias. Let the old uh, NACC put the azimuth right first, and then we'll tune the bias in right straight. Yeah, bias in's quite similar to the fox. Levels not massively different. Yeah, that'll do. So, let us now record the same bit of music on it. Here comes the hiss. Okay, back to the tape. Back to the source. Back to the tape. And just for fun, I'm going to put Dolby B on. That's the sauce. That's the tape. That's the sauce. That's the tape. Gonna turn Dolby off now. Hmm, I like what I hear. Okay, so that sounded pretty good, didn't it? I mean, yes, it was down on level compared to the RTM Fox, but the sound was good. Didn't hear any dropouts. Handled everything pretty well. Yeah, that sounded good. So let me take you through the story of how I found these cassettes. And uh, I'm just going to show you things. You draw your own conclusions. So it was actually here on tape heads. So if we go into tape heads and go into cassette tape media... It was actually this thread here, which is still pretty... Here we go. Soundwaves, another new tape manufacturer. And it was started here by a guy called Alan505. And Alan actually helped me get hold of the Knack Ferromaster. So Alan's a good bloke, and um, he's very keen to find new tapes. So we have this audiopancake.com company. So we go on to here, and... Uh, oh, as you can see, 19th of April. Yeah, many thanks for all the kind words spoken on forums, particularly tapeheads.net. Okay, so um, let's clarify who we are. Our company Amps is involved in the magnetic pigment market for 20 years. Amps Europe Limited, 20 years. Cool, right. So in the UK, we've got something called Companies House. And um, you can look at stuff here. So if we go to Companies House, get an information about a company. Yep. So the company is called 
Amps Europe Limited, and they've been around for 20 plus years. Amps Europe, here we go. Let's just check the address is right. Um, it doesn't actually say here what the address is, but if we go further on down, where I actually managed to find them. So look, um, yeah, Amps Limited, not Amps hyphen. So this is Amps Limited uk called Amps Europe. And if we look at the contact info, yeah, Amps Europe, the saltings for crosses. So if we look, Amps Europe Limited, the saltings for crosses. However, this company was only incorporated in December 2015. So uh, they're just over three years old. However, on Audio Pancake, they said they've been going for 20 plus years. Just observations. So if we actually look, let's look, we have manufacturing in China and South Korea. So, yeah, they're saying we're manufacturers and distributors of audio tapes. So if they're manufacturing, to me, manufacturer says that they actually make it themselves but they have manufacturing in China and South Korea. Because if we um, actually have a look for Amps Europe Limited on Google, yeah, and we have a look at the saltings in Langwimech, and I'm probably killing that. Yeah, we can see it's, it's, it's a house, this, which is a registered limited company address where they've been trading for 20 years is a house. So I'm going to say, like I say, I'm not calling, telling you to say anything here that you, you don't think in yourself, but I'm thinking this stuff isn't made in Wales by this company. They're, they're outsourcing it or they've got some new old stock. I don't know because like I say, we have manufacturing in China and South Korea. So chances are this this tape is either coming from South Korea. Now I've compared it with Saihan and SKC low end. Um, it doesn't compare with them. I'm not saying it's not as good quality. I'm just saying the biasing and the levels are different. So I don't know if Saihan or SKC have started remaking tape. Or if this could possibly be China getting their act together and producing something a bit better. I mean, all I can say is that these tapes I've got, right, I don't know what's in them. I can't verify what's in them. So I want you to take my reviews with a pinch of salt. It's not like a sealed TDK where you know it's a sealed TDK. This is just a C0 shell with some tape in it. And I can't quantify what it is. But all I can say is, is that the company itself... Audio Pancake, this is a very basic WordPress site. Say they've been going 20 years. Company's House says that they haven't been going 20 years. Uh, I don't know what the tape is in this. If All I'll say is if all the tapes are the same quality as the one I've tested today, then these are a very decent Type 1. Not spectacular, but they're a decent Type 1. They're better than the Chinese Type 0 I've been trying. They're better than the Nat 456. I don't think they're as good as the RTM Fox, but they're decent enough. Um, and especially since five of them shipped cost me less than £5, so put retail packaging on them, which I'm sure some of the loaders will do, you're going to be paying £2 a tape. But all I'm saying is I'm not getting a fuzzy feeling from Amps Europe. They've come out of nowhere. No fanfare, nothing. I mean, I, I know that some people would say that there was too much fanfare with Knack, but they've come out of nowhere. They're based out of a house. They said they've been going 20 years, but they were only incorporated in 2015, and they're saying that the stuff's coming from China and South Korea. So all I'm saying is, based on what I've reviewed, it's a good tape, but don't take my word for it that there'll always be this quantity and this quality because the truth of the matter is I got these from tape line I don't know what's in them so take this review with a pinch of salt that's all I'm saying but other than that thanks for watching happy taping and I shall be back with another video soon cheerio